Hello, everybody. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I figured to start off the new year, we should uh, go ahead and dive into a new series. I know, another series on the channel. It's getting to, uh, to quite a bit of ongoing uh, series right now. It's going to be hard to kind of juggle between them, but I have really bad attention spans, so I can't play one game for too long or, or else I'll just get really bored of it. So I typically like to bounce between games. When, and when I feel like playing one, I'll go back and play that. When I feel like playing this, I'll play that. You know, I it's just how I how I function. Um, I know sometimes a game will come around where it's all I want to play all the time. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I haven't found that game at uh, at the moment, but. Right now, we're going to dive into a new series and a new game for myself. Uh, this is an old game, though. It's a really old game. Uh, early 2000s game. I want to say really old. Uh, we have a game called Gothic, which apparently wasn't very popular in, in uh, America, which is where I'm from, uh, North America. Um, so, I never knew about this game prior to a couple days ago. But uh, it looked pretty cool. It's an op it, I think it's open world. It's an RPG. Um, so let's go ahead and dive on into this. We're going to click new game. I already went in. Uh, I, I kind of... I didn't see the... I skipped through the intro cutscene. And just kind of messed around with the mechanics. Because I heard you had to really... Kind of personalize your uh, key bindings. Because they're uh, it's very interesting key bindings for this game. So... I went ahead and kind of dealt with that. I'll probably have to relearn them because I did that earlier today and I honestly might have already forgot them. But that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this. We're going to click new game here. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic so we can pay attention. The kingdom of Murtana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. Against the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare Keep you. silent. Right. Send him in. Welcome to... 
to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scram. Get up. That I'm fist to Diego. the face was, I'm, was very shocking. I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Can I please step out of the water? My feet are fucking soaked. Uh, uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, hmm. Why did you help me? Why did you help me? I guess because I don't need to say it. Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch. Because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. Hmm, interesting. What it, I is I don't I don't often complain about old graphics cuz it's just the way it was back then. Um and and I I know that, like that's what I'm going to have to experience when playing older games. So I typically try not to worry about that, but what is going on with this man's ponytail? It looks it looks ridiculous. It, it just looks like something's going on there. I don't I don't like it. It looks like he has a nose sticking out of the back of his head. I'm not it's distracting the shit out of me. That's the only thing I'm going to say about the graphics, probably. But, I mean, other than that, they've been fine so far. I, uh, they don't bother me. Um, all right. Uh, what do I need to know about this? Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that one. Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the king. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier... The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. Okay. Well, I guess I should figure out how to get there. It'd probably be the best way to go. I also probably need to ask about the high magician. Um, if that's the is that who I'm getting the letter to? I'm getting a letter to someone. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. All right, well, where do I get that? Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. All right, the mine cool. is so just easy pick to up find. a fucking stick it's is just what you're a few meters me. along the canyon. All right. Who's, who's, is this a Bullet or Bullil? Who's that? Where's Bullet now? Oh, Bullet. He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. Okay, is that the guy? I'm guessing that's the guy that punched me. That, that surprised the shit out of me. I don't know why. Maybe it was just because the fist came, like, full screen. <laughs> I was like, I verbally went, oh, <laughs> Uh, all right. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. Oh, That's okay. because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. So basically get in with Gomez. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go with this one first. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp. The most powerful man in the colony. All right. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Alrighty. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. 
Chapter One. Welcome to the colony. All right, uh, I would lo uh, like to apologize from here, from this point, and I probably won't bring it up again. If my keyboard is too clicky clacky, I'm sorry, but there's not much I can do about it. I don't have another keyboard. Honest actually, I do, but it's even worse. It's a mechanical, so it's like even louder, really loud clicky sounds. Um, so this is my quiet, the quietest keyboard I have. So hopefully. We'll be fine with that. I walked over there earlier when I was checking out the controls. I know exactly what will happen. I'm not going over there. <laughs> Get struck by fucking lightning. All right. Can I go up here? Oh, shit. Look at this. Look at this traversal. Oh, my God. I can jump. Jump high as shit. All right. Oh. Oh, my God. Wait. I want to... I want to explore down here first. There might be some stuff. That was crazy, though. Oh, what's this? It's a bucket of Walter. Can I have a drink? Hmm. I don't want to go too far over there. That's where I got struck by lightning when I tried to in my own time. So, none of that. Oh, there's a torch. There we go. Uh, how do I, okay, no, tab, there we go. That just shows weapons. Do I not have, like, an inventory? Oh, uh, hold on. These fucking settings, man, this game has some interesting things. Alright, keybind, uh, inventory, tab, and backspace... So if I hit back, that just brings up weapons again. How do I pull out my torch? What's the purpose of the torch? Okay, I keep fucking throwing my fists out. I know this is riveting content, but I, I just really want to figure out how to do something. with Like, I picked up a torch and I don't really understand... What the purpose of it is if I can't use it. Uh, maybe it's a quest item? I don't know. Uh, let's see here, though. We also have player status. So. Oh, cool. I. Ooh, I can join guilds? Oh, interesting. Uh, next level is at 500 XP. Okay. Uh, zero protection against everything. Alright, our attributes are strength, dex, mana, and life. Which is essentially health, uh, I'm guessing. Fighting skills, bad at everything. I'm unskilled. Uh, ooh, there's thieving skills, there's also magic. It just says no next to magic. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know that. I almost drowned too when I was playing earlier because I, I was checking it out earlier because I walked into the water and like just didn't fucking understand what was going on. Alright, uh, oh god. Yeah. Swim up, please. Swim up. Oh, man. I'm so worried about drowning. I don't know how quick the health will deplete. I I want to see if I can search the skeletons down there. I'm not worried about it. You know what? We'll, we'll figure things out as we go, I think. I'm really excited to kind of venture into this. The, the, like, Gothic trilogy was on Steam for, like, four bucks. So I bought... I bought all three of them, and they came with the uh, playable teaser for the Gothic remake, which I, again, I don't know anything about the Gothic series. I only just learned about it uh, up. Yeah. I only just learned about it, so I don't know anything about the lore or the world or the characters or the story, for that matter. Um, so, and I didn't want to play, like, a nice-looking teaser for a game that's not out yet when I could just go back and play this game and then play a remake if I really enjoy this game and then get more out of it. So, uh, what are you doing here? I don't know why I keep saying What are you doing here? I don't Making need to say sure it. no one gets near the exchange place, especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's me. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp, same as the others you saw at the exchange place. 
I assume you've talked to Diego. Diego. Yeah, I did. Yes, I have. Good. Then you know what's what around here. Uh, okay. Why do I have to watch out for the guys? Well, I'm guessing they're just, like, assholes. <laughs> um... Yeah, I want, I'm curious about this. Um, yeah, well, guy, I'm curious about who punched me, so let's go ahead and figure that out. When I was washed ashore, one of the guys punched me in the face. They do that to all the newcomers. They call it Standing Godfather. Oh, what? Are all the guys <laughs> like that in the old camp? We do have a few suckers, but they won't touch you as long as you pay them protection money. I don't have any money. Uh. Oh, yeah, I did see a woman. I was curious about that. I saw a woman being sent down with the goods. Yeah, the ore barons get everything they want. Oh, Do you mean damn. to say the king exchanges women for ore? They're convicted criminals too, of course. But if Gomez hadn't asked for them, they'd be sitting in some dungeon or other. I'm not sure what's worse. Oh, so they're prisoners. I mean, that's still kind of fucked up. Um, yeah, I would. I do need a weapon, so let's figure out what's what I'm the deal is with that. Weapon. There should be some old weapons by the derelict mine further down the canyon. Uh, that's but what Diego told me. Don't go and start a war with nothing but a rusty pickaxe for a weapon. Those things are slow and heavy. I'm An curious. inexperienced fighter should never use one of them unless it's an emergency. Right. I'm, I'm kind of curious what the fighting mechanics are like in this game. Like, I've played a couple of games where I could not getting the fight, couldn't get the fighting mechanics down. Like, um, what's it called? Kingdom Come? Something like that. Um, I just couldn't figure out the fight. I want to play that game again. I, I don't know if that's the right name. I hope it is. Uh, I want to play the game again. It looks interesting, and over the years I've gotten better at games like that, but uh, sometimes I just can't figure out fighting mechanics, and it makes the game a, like too much of a challenge to where it's not fun anymore, so I'm curious what that's going to look like with this game. Uh... Why do I have to watch out for the guys from the new camp? Compared to the new camp, the old camp's a quiet, peaceful sort of place. The new camp doesn't get any deliveries from the outside world. Most of the rogues there just steal whatever they need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the old camp? The ore barons have everything under control. Next in line to them are the guards, followed by the shadows. The diggers are the lowest. Everyone who arrives here starts out as a digger. If you want to become something better than that, you'll have to get accepted as a shadow first. A shadow? Is that like a thief? Sounds kind of like a thief. All right. You'd better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece. Well, it sounds like first I have to go gather a weapon. Can I go this way? This was where I tried to come down earlier. <laughs> can I? Can I escape my inevitable fate of being stuck down here? Holy shit! My man just went for the stars. All right, no. We'll just go down here. We'll uh, we'll go about our way. Uh, ladder. Oh god. Wrong button. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We're doing alright. Can I... Oh, there's a meat bug. What's this? Uh... Blueberry. Maybe it's like a healing item, but I can't fucking... Oh, that's okay. I cycle through it. Can I, how do I equip? I didn't do it. How the fuck? <laughs> uh, there we go. How do I unequip? <laughs> oh god. Alright, well, I guess I have this. Oh shit, I dropped it. Sir! Sir, please! Come come back! I wanna I wanna hit this meat bug. 
meal bug, whatever. Is it, is it giving me food or something? Oh, I got 10 experience. Fuck yeah. Can I loot it? Oh, I can. Okay. Man, this is... This is fucking complicated. Did I take it? I did. Somehow. Alright, let me go pick up this torch. Can I pick up the torch? I fucking hope so. Oh, cool. I can. It doesn't go back in my inventory, though. That's kind of a bummer. I hope it doesn't run out. Uh, should I hit this other meal bug? Why not? I missed. Got him! Okay, cool. Sweet. I'm getting the hang of it. Every game has a learning curve. Especially older games. Because I feel like nowadays a lot of games try to use similar mechanics to... Not necessarily copy mechanics. Um, but something I've noticed, like, other games will kind of take inspiration from other games. Like, I noticed that with Assassin's Creed when they started doing their open world stuff. They kind of not necessarily copied the combat from, like, Dark Souls and all that. Like, the, the roll, timed rolling and stuff like that. But, um, you know, like... They definitely took inspiration from games like that. So, a lot of games nowadays, I find, have similar, if not, like, not too far off of mechanics. Whereas older games tend to be a bit more unique with what they do. What's in here? We got beer. We got coins. We got more torches. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, God. How do I go back? back. Oh, fuck. Open! I wasn't done. How the fuck do I... That's how. Okay. Wow. Again, learning curve. But we're, we're making it happen. And I'm excited to do so. I'm also going to pick this up. I wonder if I have, like, limited storage space. I mean, that would make sense. Alright, see, we got 11 gold. That's nice. Um, oh, we got a lock pick. Pick lock. Got more torches. So, that leads me to believe that torches do run out. Good thing I have found some more. Uh, and I got some arrows. Think I could equip that. Uh... I don't remember how... Oh, I dropped him. I didn't mean to drop him. I wanted to... Equip. Oh, shit. Did I equip it? No. <laughs> I, I was wondering if I could, like, equip it as a melee weapon. That would have been interesting. Alright, let's pick this blueberry up. Is that, does it say blueberry? I always call shit by the wrong name, so I just want to make sure. Blue, yeah, blueberries. Give me that. Is that the mine over there, or is this where it wants me to pick up a weapon? And I do see a pickaxe, so I would guess that that's, that's my first weapon. Um, perfect. Oh, fuck yeah. I already feel more badass. I don't think I can venture deeper into this. Something I heard about uh, one of these games. Because um, I was looking... Oh, God. Am I stuck? Oh, shit. Okay, thank God. I was looking up, like, if these games would be worth checking out. Um, and one of, the, one of the games, if not all of the games... I know for a fact one of the games never has, like, a loading screen outside of, like, starting up the game. And, like, cutscenes and stuff. Um, so, curious to see... Oh, fuck, what is that? Alright, I'm ready for this shit. Come and try me, you... You look like a fucking mole rat from... From... Fallout. You wanna do this? 
Oh god. Turn. Pivot. Gotcha. Uh. Can't fucking touch this. Um, alright. What do we got here? I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Oh, it is a mole rat. <laughs> well, then my description was accurate. Oh, we got a nugget, too. Oh, is that... Oh, fucking sword? That... How do I check to see if one is better than the other? Oh, tells me. Damage. Required strength, five. Okay, sweet. So... How do I equip... How do I unequip is a better question. Fuck. Oh my god, this game is so complicated. Uh All right. No. No. <laughs> okay, if I have to look it up, I'm going to be a little disappointed. I like to figure this shit out by myself. There we go. Got it. Oh, yeah, I want to go pick up my torch, too. It might get dark. You never know. <clears throat> you never know where it might get dark. All right, uh, pick that up. Onward. Onward and upward. I feel like I am making progress, though. Um, where do I go from here? Probably... Does it want me to go down? It looks like there might be a path. Yeah, okay, so I should just circle back. Can I go this way? I can go this way. A little shortcut. Fuck yeah. Is there fall damage? Do I have to worry about that? Pro probably. That would make sense. Looks like they put a little ledge there to prevent fall damage from happening if you tried to jump. Oh, God, I already feel like I'm in an open world. Oh, God, what is that thing? Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, there's more arrows. Oh, there's another torch, too. Yeah, give me those. Is that another sword? All right, let's get ready. He's wheeling him two-handed. Oh, looks like a fucking battle went down here. What is this? Put this away so we can read. An old sword. I have a rusty sword. That might be better. Oh, God. Uh, Old sword is better, but it requires more strength. And I don't think I have that, so... What does that guy have? Something. Alright, let's get ready for a fight. Might happen. Sounds like a fucking chicken. Alright. We're going for it, you fucking little bitch. Got him. Oh, dude. Combat doesn't seem too bad so far. Uh, oh, we got a club. Let's get all these arrows. Get that club. Can I pull these arrows out of the tree? Yeah. Gotta get them on the angle. Perfect. I hope, uh, I hope I don't have a fucking carry weight limit. Because I do not know how to drop things yet. <laughs> and that would not work out for me. Alright. Onward! Again! Oh, we got another one. Let me get ready. Let me get ready. Oh, shit, you didn't see that coming, did ya? Oh! Get it. Yeah. That felt good. I felt, I felt empowered there. So far, the, the controls haven't been too hard to get used to. I thought, because again, when I was looking at videos to see if it would be worth it, one thing I, another thing I heard was that the controls would be kind of wonky. And uh, so far, I'm not having too much trouble with it. I mean, inventory's kind of a mess, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting it slowly. 
Um, I'm not going to pick up all these plants right now. I don't know if they'll be useful or not. Ooh, do I go over there? Do my weapons deplete in strength? Value... It doesn't say it has, like, any kind of, like, weapon de... de degradation. Oh, God, what are these guys? I'm going to walk towards them. Please, gentlemen, I, I wish to speak. No... No hostility needed. Hi. Hey, you. What do you want? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. Uh. Why is this area so dangerous? I keep reading it out loud. He's going to say it anyway. It's it's, it's going to sound like a fucking broken record. But I'm going to pick this option. Um. This one. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Ooh, proper weapon. Well, I have a sword. I feel like that is technically a proper weapon. Um, I don't have armor. You're right, though. I, I would like to get some armor. I guess I can ask about that. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. Okay, but so I can... You can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. Are you if the you right people? If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Can I acquire ore myself? Like, I have a pickaxe. Am I able to just go into a mine and get ore? That would be fucking sweet. Um. I, oh, a map would be pretty cool, too. Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Oh, a cartographer. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. Well, that's if just dandy. It, take one from me as well. Oh, I can steal it? Hmm. Oh, he doesn't sell them? That's... Well, then he's not really a cartographer, is he? <laughs> that would imply that that's his job. He, it's more or less a hobby for him. Uh... Ooh. Oh! Interesting. So, if I steal them, I can steal a shit ton of them and he'll pay me for them? That's pretty cool. Why? Doesn't he sell the maps? If you get enough ore to pay for them. Oh, he does sell them. Okay, I misread that then. Uh... What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Is that those really? big ass birds? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here, and most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins, or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint. Don't go into the forest. Alright. This, uh, this game sounds pretty, like, vast, like, open-wise. Um, it sounds like there's, like, a lot that we can just kind of jump into right from the get-go. That's pretty Thanks cool. Thanks for your help. I like games Don't like that. Don't go thinking everyone's gonna be so friendly, kid. There might I... not be much in a newcomer's pockets. But some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll okay. keep it in mind. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't trust you to begin with. I, I thought you were going to try to kill me. That's why I was prepared. I was walking up instead of running towards you. I'm still walking. I'm curious. Okay, I hope you don't attack me. Oh, shit. Oh, they're all pissed off. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I, I didn't know you were gonna do that. Holy shit! I don't want to. I don't want any part of this. Oh shit! They're already dead. Nice job, guys. These are the scavengers. Yeah, they aren't that hard to kill. Can I take your? 
Nah, I'm not gonna take it. You 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 killed them, it's yours, alright? You said don't go into the forest, so I probably shouldn't go into the forest. I wonder how to put the fucking torch away though. I don't wanna carry this around. Maybe it's just something I have to run around with. I mean, I could drop it, but I don't want to waste it. So if I stay away from this thing, is it going to leave me alone? It's not calling at me, so... I mean, I could kill them, get experience points. Hello, friends. Bridge guard. Bridge guard. Can I talk to you guys? Have you got any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own. Unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts. Okay, thank you. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. <laughs> I don't like the way he said that. I mean, I'm guessing he knows I'm here to mine for ore, so... It sounded like he was, was going to kill me with it. There's more mole rats up there. This looks like it'll probably be the old camp, so let's run in... What's this? What is this? Tumblr? Uh, how do I... Yep. I don't know what that is, but sure, give it to me. Hi! Hello! Where do you think you're going? To the camp. You ain't come to make trouble, have you? Oh, I was sent here. Uh... <laughs> Plan to take on the whole camp <laughs> with my torch and my shitty ass sword. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go with the first option. It seems like the one that won't get me killed. Diego says I'm to meet him in the camp. Okay, in you go then. Any news? Nah, everything's the same as ever. Alright. Well, have a good one. Hello. This game's kind of cool. Same old story every time. Shadow. Ah, you probably Hi. Oh my god. Hi. What do you want? I don't know. Hi. What do you want? I could just say hi repeatedly. Hi. What do you want? It'd be cool if he was like quit saying hi. Maybe. <laughs> be funny. Uh, I want to be a shadow, actually. Yeah. I want to be a shadow. Oh. Have you talked to Diego yet? Yeah, I have. Good. You just do as he says, then. It didn't do me any harm. Well, not really, anyway. Okay. Thoris? Is that the guy with the maps? I don't remember his name. Where can I find Thoris? He usually stands at the castle entrance. That doesn't sound like where a cartographer would, would stand. Uh, alright. Where can I find Diego? During the day, he's usually at the castle entrance with Thoris. Oh, okay, so I didn't need to ask Castle entrance is probably over there. I want to check out what's in here. I, some this is catching my hey, eye. You. Huh? Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. Oh God, was Let I? Pass. I'm sorry. Was I trespassing? <laughs> All right. Well, my bad, dude. I didn't mean to. Ooh, I don't want to jump down. Oh, okay, I see a way back up. Hi. His name is Grave. We have to get in front of him. Hi. How are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with like a reptile dysfunction, I can help you sort the thing out. Interesting. If I was in trouble, you could help me. How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get into trouble with him, but then, well, you never know. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, 
he'll never talk to you again. And that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him. So you come to see me. I know a lot of people here Thoris listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. Of course, the boys want to see some ore for these kind of favors. Your ore. And I take care that your ore gets to the right people. So is ore like currency? What the fuck was the gold I picked up earlier? Well, I'm not in trouble right now. Alright. Let's get out of here. Yeah, what? I picked up... Coin. It doesn't even say it has value. What's the fucking purpose of the coin? <laughs> if ore seems to be the main currency. Alright, whatever. We'll figure it out. Again, it's a learning curve. I'm gonna keep saying that until I until it sinks in for myself. Oh, we got some diggers over here. Does that mean we're near the mine? Hey you! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Get I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm working on it. Oh god, I'm trying. The right decision. Thank you. I didn't Well, you apparently cannot go into people's houses. That's uh <laughs> it's pretty immersive. I will right, we'll climb up. Hopefully they don't get pissed off from me climbing on the ladder. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I just I just want to look around. What's that guy holding? Oh, it's a pan. I thought he was like holding a big ass magnifying glass over the fire. Whoa. The fucking jump looks ridiculous. Hi. Looking for the mine. Also trying not to go indoors. I don't want to get fucking stabbed. I guess we'll just go... Who are you? Herrick. And how's things? There ain't enough room in this camp for the two of us. Oh. Pardon me? If it was up to me, you wouldn't last out here for long. Do you know why I'm here? I killed a dozen people in one night. Just like that. Were they sleeping? <laughs> you do it while they were sleeping. That's not impressive, dude. That's just cowardly. All right. Oh, what's this? Grindstone. Probably to improve weapons? I don't know. We'll find everything out soon enough. Hopefully no one tries to kill me for going in here. Oh. How often have I told you bastards not to run through my hut? <laughs> what's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. Why'd it all you... started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. <laughs> Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. I mean, <laughs> you fucking put your hut on the road. On the path. That's your fucking fault, man. Oh my god, that's really fucking funny. The voice made it so much better. He sounded like a South Park character. Oh, that was really good. Well, that was weird. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He <laughs> might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. Oh, uh, this sounds like it's going to make him upset, but fuck it. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. These are some crazy names. Oh, we got Ball Tauron. Ah. Ball Tauron, sir, I wish to speak. Oh god, I'm standing in the fire. I'm new here. Who are you? 
I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago. I don't ago like being inside this Eberian, guy watching him eat. Our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the sleeper will lead us to freedom. Interesting. Uh... I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. Oh shit, we gotta supply the weed. And sell part of it to the old town. <laughs> in exchange swamp weed. for okay. goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? When he said weed, I thought he was talking about that ganja, you know, that marijuana. Uh, I have a letter. No, I don't want to fucking say that. I don't want to die. I want to meet somebody there. Do you? Who? And why don't you just wait until he comes out? That's none of your business. Fine, man. I just wanted to help. Sure you did. Sure. Well, well, fuck you, buddy. Okay, I don't need your help, even though I asked for it to begin with. <laughs> did he just pulled out a fucking joint? This dude's totally talking about normal weed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this game is fucking amazing. Diego, buddy. Hey, I found you. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here, but you've only just arrived. I mean, you, you should want to be in a rush. It's prison. I don't want to be here. Uh oh there's two other camps. Is the castle one of the camps? No. What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. Okay. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, Everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. All right. Well, Take care. Can I just walk up here? Are they gonna kill me? That's Thoris. Hi, Thor. You got some dope ass armor. Uh, hi. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. Uh... Dude, do I say that? I... Like, the guy told me not to. And I don't want this guy to just turn around and stab me. He seems... I want to work for... Yeah, sure. I want to work for Gomez. Oh, yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Uh... 
why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. All right, yeah, I will go talk to Diego. Uh, sure. Get our get our first major quest here. Diego, get off your lazy ass. I need to chat with you. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. That's really not my problem. If you think. Okay. Uh... Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most Ugh. skillful among us. <laughs> that's a, keep that's your a eyes name. Peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. No, it's not the, the one that's gate, just in the middle of the fucking the left, road. And you'll be heading for the arena. Oh, that was dope. You see that in the background? That was super cool. Dude, gross. The Fingers is the most skilled. Ugh, why'd you, why is he named Fingers? <laughs> All right, uh, sure. Take care. I guess we have to go look for Fingers. Hey, do you know where I could find a guy named Fingers? I'm also curious, where the fuck is the mine? I want to see where I can get ore from, or is that just the currency I acquire from doing quests? Or can I just steal some ore? Bloodwind. Ah! Hey, you! Hi. Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick around here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. I don't have any ore. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. I feel like this guy's gonna try and kill me. Um, but see ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Oh, Mate, I pass through here. Yeah, absolutely, dude. <laughs> feel feel free. You don't have to ask me permission. I just got here. You're definitely higher rank than I am. What's this a kettle? Oh, the water's boiling. That's cool. Any one of you guys named Fingers? No fingers down here. All right. Is there a man named Fingers? You're Whistler. Looking for a man named Fingers. Damn, this town's fucking huge. A lot of people in it, too. That's always a good sign for an open world game. Hey, man. I'm <laughs> Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. These voices are fucking amazing. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. you shouldn't believe everything you hear. 500 ore. Okay, so that is definitely the currency. At least in this town. What the fuck's the point of coins? Why did I... 
Why did I get coins? I need... There's a Dexter... I need a Fingers. This guy's over here playing the fucking guitar. A lot of diggers. No fingers, though. Oh, you know what? I should probably quit wandering into people's huts. They'll get pissed off. <laughs> I thought I learned my lesson. Apparently not. Oh. It's not a person sitting. Hello, I'm looking for a fingers. You have to watch what you tell there must be something about that story after all. Sorry. The right decision. Yeah, I know. I was just seeing if your name was Fingers. It clearly isn't. Very sorry, More Drag. That's a dope ass name. Hey, newcomer. I'm More Drag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Okay, well, I'll worry about that later. I don't have any ore, so. Is this the mine? Or is this a nether entrance? Is this the mine? That was dope. You see that dope ass parkour? No, this looks like another another place to live. It's not what I'm looking for, man. Alright. It looks like this just kind of wraps around into a one big circle. I'm curious what's out here. Is this just an exit? Like another way out of the town? Or is this actually taking me to the mine gate god? This is definitely another way out of town. I probably shouldn't go this way. Alright, we're going to stay safe for now. We're going to stay in the town. Um, and I'm actually going to end the episode here. I think it's a good spot to end. You know, we have some stuff that uh, we have to take care of the next episode. We have to track down fingers... We have to kind of prove our worth, learn some skills, all of that good stuff. And then uh, we got to earn the favor of Diego. Um, so we got some stuff to look forward to uh, in this this game. It's an interesting game. and It's cracking me the fuck up with its really, uh, it's really ridiculous uh, voices and names and, and just things people are saying. Ah, new face. Oh, hi. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here, and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just Wait. ten ore, man. It ain't much to ask. I don't have any ore. Wait, do I have ore? Here's ten ore, and you'll have to help me if I get into trouble. Hey, watch who you're trying to fool. Come back when you have the ore. Okay, so I don't actually have ore, I was about to say. <laughs> All right. Uh, please stop interrupting me, people. Shadow. Any of you guys named Fingers? No fingers. All right. Yeah, so... Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so we're going to end the episode here. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to uh, let me know down in the comments below uh, what you liked about it, what, what you like about this game. If you've played this game before, let me know. If you have any tips for this game, let me know. Um, feel free to uh, hit the like button, too, and also feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate any of those and also let me know in the comments if there's any other games you want to see on the channel i am obviously down to play games spanning all across time so i am super interested in uh especially some obscure games that m might be really cool so let me know down below and uh other than that i will see you guys later I thought that peace out oh hello new here are you i don't know your face everyone wants I'm to stop sly. and talk to me I have a job on offer for a newcomer. Ooh, a job. Oh, I think I already talked to you. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you again, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.